Monroe Street is still under construction. That project was supposed to be finished by today. Unfortunately for neighbors and business owners around there, that is not the case, mm -mm. but the end is in sight. Christina Laurie is live along Monroe Street this morning with the construction projects manager. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, ladies. In the scope of construction projects, managers pretty much hit their mark. This street will reopen two-way traffic for the first time in more than eight months next Wednesday. That's just one day before the Thanksgiving travel rush and two days before Small Business Saturday, two days before Black Friday and three days before Small Business Saturday. We're joined this morning by Jim Wolf, who has been the project's construction manager overseeing this the whole time. Good morning. Good morning. So what is the what are some of the biggest changes that drivers can see? Uh, one of the main changes is going to be the nice smooth pavement out here. If everyone remembers last year how potted and potholed the, the pavement was, it was very rutted, it was in very poor condition. But in addition to that, we made a number of pedestrian improvements out here at Knickerbocker is one of our raised intersections. It's kind of like a large mild speed hump with some colored crosswalks to really get some visibility to the pedestrian crossings, also slowing down traffic a little bit. Uh, we installed new pedestrian scale lighting in all of the business areas, uh, which you can see behind us here. Uh, so those are some of the primary changes that we did that are going to be really visible. And there are a lot of changes that people won't be able to see. Can you talk a little bit about those? Yeah, absolutely. With the project, we also re installed new water mains, new sewer mains, new storm sewer. Uh, so those utilities were roughly 100 years old, maybe even older. Uh, so we replaced all the underground utilities, the services to the properties, installed new storm sewer to help improve drainage out here as well. Uh, so there's actually over seven miles worth of pipe work that we did with the project. So. A lot of the work that was done out here is actually underground. Wow, that's really incredible. We're actually going to keep Jim here with us. He has a lot more knowledge to share. Uh, we'll talk to him in about 30 minutes about the future construction projects that are already in the works here in Madison. Because